Okay guys, today I will uh, quickly show how I tune my uh, 4.8. So I'm not gonna show you guys how to rig it because you anyway know to put the mast in the boom on. I'm just gonna tell you quick a bit about the details and how I do it. What, what for me is uh, important is that I use for this sail, the 4.8, the slash, I use the C100 mast. The 100% carbon, what uh, is the mast for this sail, what works the best. You also have the C80, what, what's a fine mast, it's a really good mast, it's just, for this sail, it's better to use the 100 because the sail is built on this mast and uh, it's, a, it's perfect for it. The 80 can be a good alternative because the mast is really good. It just has like an extra layer uh, fiberglass over it to protect it from getting damaged so quickly. So it makes it a little bit heavier and I mean that you know for a freezer sale you want to have it light and super direct. Okay, for the extension I use exactly the same what's written on the, the sail, so that makes it really easy and in this case it's 8. Well, it's also always good to make sure the ropes are in uh, the good way so they're not crossing. What makes it easier to pull it on and and the rake after again. What I always do before I uh, pull the downhaul, I usually check if my mast is good in each other, just quickly. Because I guess everyone had it already once. Fully the sailor's rig, you walk in the water, you quick feel and like, oh, it's standing open. So <laughs> that's what you don't want. You don't need so much downhaul in a freestyle sail because you want to keep it like flat so not too much loose lead because otherwise you're gonna lose the control and it starts uh, moving too much. But a bit is okay because then the sail is gonna release a bit of power as well and like, like this is quite good you know like, uh, like one and a half finger I keep here. If you use the original mast and the original extension, then it's like one half finger. Yeah. For the boom, it can be for everyone a bit different from the length, depending on how high you set, put the boom or you know low boom. You put it can be you put the boom one shorter. If you put it high, you can be you put it one longer. I don't pull too much down uh, out hole, I mean, sorry. Uh, because that makes the sail like still have a lot of power and like flexibility. Otherwise the sail gets too flat. Like you see it 
can the cell can really breathe what you want while you dock that it release the power but once you get it again it builds up the power so you can explode I usually leave also a bit here I don't pull it against the boom because like this it makes the cell breathing otherwise it's gonna press into the boom during the moves it makes the cell a bit more forgiven um, and then something what I guess a lot of people like to know is about the batons. The lower two batons, I just take uh, enough tension so you don't get the wrinkles what makes your sail looking shit. Uh, and then the upper one, I put a bit more tension. That's for my feeling the best setup. Okay, so a bit more about the loose lids. Like you see the lower panels, they're like really stiff and then the top can have just a little bit to get the sail a bit breathing so it can you know get like a nice flow in the sail with the wind um, and then we have on the other side I get a lot of questions why the patterns are sticking out that's actually a really easy uh, reason for because look if I press it's like the same than the wind does the patterns come nicely inside what makes the sail like uh, really breathing and it's good if the sail breathes for the freestyle because when you make like the most common moves the duck maneuver the, the sail you come from power it goes neutral so you have no power in the sail you duck it but once you have the, the sail in the hands again it blows up and you have straight power to explode to do like a big cono or a culo doesn't matter every kind of duck move so that's why we have the reason we have the batons sticking out but they flip really easy once you have power in the cell